Hello Libra, someone rising in Venus signs, getting right into your reading. I have true love here, right? New love could be some true love here. Could be going to separation with someone you have children with. You're freeing yourself from this deception, knowing that it's safe for you to love. Keep your heart open here to give and receive the highest energy of all because what you don't see from the separation is the person that you're going to marry. So you're so made. So stop and smell the roses, stay present and keep your head up, all right? Go in retreat mode if you have to. For some of you, there's some heart-to-heart -heart conversations coming in, but I just feel like um, a new love is way better than what you're dealing with right, right now, all right? It's someone that's your soulmate. So I'm gonna leave that there, all right? okay? I feel like you deserve peace. You deserve peace, all right? It's 2024. We just all deserve peace. And it's like, you're not getting that. Yeah, your Queen of Cups is in reverse. You're not emotionally satisfied, Libra. It's like the passion, the chemistry is great, but it's starting to get stale because it's like you want emotions. You know, they're stable. Everything's good. Ace of Swords energy, but that's around three aces here. So new beginnings on the horizon. It's three of wands energy. It's coming in very fast. So what you feel is delayed. And as I said that, just saw one, 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 an angel number here. Um, what you, what you don't see behind the scenes is that things are actually working out in your favor. Like blessings are literally ahead. It could be eight hours, eight days. I mean, two weeks here. It's coming in very, very quickly. The query that you need is going to come in. So most importantly, ground yourself. And I feel like you feel this shift. We are entering a new moon in Leo on August 4th. So definitely write down what you need to release so and focus on new goals and new beginnings here. Because your, your blessings are coming. And it's, I feel like it's going to form a new love. But you're going to have an option here. Someone who has hurt you and someone who has their shit together. Who, who's, who's not only, you know, um, financially stable here. They're emotionally stable. They're giving you what exactly you want, an emotionally stable partner. So that's beautiful. I love that, Libras. So definitely, again, you know, keep your boundaries up. Level up. Okay, I see justice and queen of swords energy, Libras. You're attracting your soulmate. As you cut things out your life, you're attracting your person. So be aware of being strung along here. From a past person take a chance and move forward and see the blessings that comes in there's a transformation that's going to make you change your mind growth here we are entering mercury retrograde soon so just be aware of that as well just be aware of blockages right now yeah being in your head libras but someone's coming in and match your energy and they're not playing past energy and don't, you know, with self, uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups energy, just be aware of self-sabotaging here because, you know, you could be in your head about things like, am I doing a good job and things like that, you know. Um, so stay level-headed. I'm going to see what else is coming in. I have to take time to breathe out, exactly. Have faith in your dreams and look at the bigger picture. Yep. A Ferrari climax approaches and, and it's coming very, very, very fast. Okay. So the Two of Wands energy... You know, the delays that you feel, you will see victory over. You will win over these in regards to love. You will get the apology that you deserve from this person. I have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Exactly. Be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. I have the star card, Aquarius energy, the four. Yeah, someone's hesitating. <laughs> and don't hesitate to embrace this new love, okay? You deserve it, Libra. This person's gonna be very level-headed. Like they're gonna be they're gonna be everything that you want, and it's gonna freak you out. It's gonna freak you out. But let's see what this past person wants to say in the separation here, because I definitely forgot. I have on that available. I love you. I thought about showing up at your door to tell you how I feel. And I think about you in public, hoping to see you. The thought of you with someone makes me angry. Well, they're lost, okay? <laughs> yeah. You make me happy. I'm sorry. But they're thinking about you constantly. So if you're having sleepless nights, Libras, it's them, not you. Sagittarius energy is watching you. Sagittarius can't get enough of you. <laughs> I'm just saying that. They're in love, yeah. This could be someone that you're going to marry here, Libra. So, yeah, everything is just great with this person. It's, it's a, a strong emotional hold, Libra, with this person. 
But, you know, Leo season, August is going to be a struggle here. Strength card energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. You're going to go through a massive transformation from, what, August to, I want to say, November, guys. For some of you, as you deal with loss, you're going to gain so much, like I was saying. And that was so weird that this card moved, because what the hell? You guys saw that? <laughs> I don't know. But that scared me. Okay. You're going through a massive transformation here, okay? So the darkness, there will be light again. All right? best thing you can do right now is to be gentle with yourself and keep that guard down communicate clearly with god and your angels and what you want it will manifest the situation will improve it's not the end it's just just a new beginning for you embrace new opportunities and trust that it will work out things will lead to success for you most importantly remain pos positive and again a peaceful resolution is in the cards here libra it's just a 555 angel number so i have playfulness yeah so recast your romance allow your inner youthful spirit to find the shine and you know um with codependency here additions are affecting your life it's just sometimes codependency right we can get too clingy and caught up into people and i, I don't know clingy is the right word but we but we attach there you go we can get attached here so do things to change your energy. Don't blame yourself for it. It's okay. It's okay to have emotions and get attached here. But it's time to release that negativity. And again, keep your heart open. Don't let your past hold you back. All right. And adjustments are required here. It's just an adjustment and a reset. Don't let your pride get in the way. I'm going to leave it here, Libras. Have a wonderful week.